What's going on boys? And welcome back to another episode of me doing uh, WoW on my Prot Warrior. Uh, just in Wrath Classic. So I will also be uploading more vanilla stuff. I feel like a lot of people kind of wanted to see that since it's less... I don't even know what the word is. It's not like as inflated with a bunch of stuff. I guess. For lack of better words. But anyway, um, figured come back, do some more on runs, and probably change our questing area. Cause our Hearthstone still takes us to South Shore, so I think we can end up going. Honestly, we could either go to Kalendor and go into Tenaris. So honestly, probably going over to into Gadget Zan might be a little bit easier. Plus, there's some other quests for Zulfrak we can get along the way. So, nonetheless, I think it'd probably be easier if we hearth and then flew over to um, Manifold Harbor. And then from there, we can just wait for the boat. And then we can just move on over to Gadget Zan. Which hopefully won't be too long of a run. Slowly but surely, we're. Well, maybe we'll get in. There we go. Now we got a group. Who's this guy? So many Ret Paladins. Like a group with Ret Paladins the most. Alright, we'll drink a potion. We'll eat that. I think we got all our consumes in order. There's the food buff. Okay, who's who's our healer? Mage, mage, breeze. The red pound definitely ain't healing. How much for sure? Okay, so that's our priest. Willrow from Benediction. Almost all from Benediction. That's lovely. Vigilance on this guy. Interesting. Hopefully, the vigilance on the mage helps. And we don't get groups just going all over the place. Pretty good for the paladin, I'm not gonna lie. Strength and Ooh, shame. Those don't have enough strength on them. If those were boots, different story. We really need some new boots. Can I get on some please? Thanks. When we can get like some BOE boots because the boss in, in purple side does not have any boots really so really relying on some RNG here 
so. Alright, let's go ahead and pull, we'll pull this through. And no, that no, one's a bit far. I was thinking we could probably pull it up, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So far, we have not gotten any boots. At least that are plate minimum male, because we're at level 42, so it's kind of whatever. We had some cloth boots drop earlier, but... And that's whatever, really. and then we can just kind of Got the legs to drop again. Shame. Those are probably decent hunter legs, not gonna lie. Nice. Oh nice, the boat's here. Nice. I will see you guys. Um because I we just got out of Moradin, so. Uh, I'll see you guys when we get over to Gadget Zan. Oh, snap. So, we got to Gadget Zan, and then these guys... I found these guys just chilling here, and this guy gave me five delights and some fire water. And this person is very small. Gnome sized. These are some very interesting people we've run into. be better. It's just the fiery enchant. <laughs> if we can link it. I'm gonna go to World Epics. Don't matter. <laughs> Only stats. <laughs> that is true. I, I do have this fucking bow. <laughs> Took my bow. That is true. We're we're doing quite a bit of dungeons and then an occasional questing, but just to keep stuff kind of on the fresh side.
This is true. Sometimes it does slow down. Especially last night when I was doing some stuff, there was a decent amount of time as of like me recording this. Um, there was some time where I ended up waiting a few minutes. Arcane Mage, huh? Interesting. I'm definitely gonna put this in the consumes. I think I could probably go farm the fire water on my higher level. Send it over. Make for a good battle elixir. I mean, they're only going for like two gold apiece, but I mean... I mean, I've got a bunch of higher levels that are more than capable, so... Anyway, not a bad little deal. Hey, how you doing? Going to accept some of these. Oh, this is Ooh, that's a pretty good ring. Probably replace Iron Spine's eye, honestly. Uh, let's look at. Because ZF is probably going to be our next quest dungeon we go into, so... More or less. I have totally spaced the fact that I have this level 10 bow. <laughs> so at first I was like, heavy short bow, and I was like, I know my boots are pretty shit. But I was like, oh yeah, the bow which has fucking nothing on it, dude. But I mean, to be fair, like I had a point, bows as for warriors and rogues. They've always been purely a stat stick because we don't have any like ranged abilities outside of the shoot. <laughs> so I suppose let's go ahead and set our hearth here. Well, no, let's not. Actually, I want to be able to get over to Eastern Kingdoms quickly for learning stuff. So. Uh, what other quests we got? I think... Temper... Yeah, it's Wastewater... Um, we're not gonna be running Oldemon in it. Well... Maybe we can run it one more time so we can get this quest because there's this axe. Uh, that actually looks kinda sick as far as vanilla standards go. So, I'll probably end up doing one more run there. And then anything for Zulfarak we can save for later, I suppose. Anyway, shout out to those people who give me that stuff. I uh, don't know how to pronounce your name at all. But, seems like pretty nice people. At least compared to the other people we've been running dungeons with. So, but... Honestly, I feel like that's pretty usual for the realm I'm playing on. Um, and I'm sure a few others, especially the, the realms you guys play on. I'm sure there's, like, a bunch of nice people on there for sure. I don't know, it, except for Benediction. They are the one realm that I think I've encountered more assholes on than even my own realm. Just through, like, questing and shit. From like the time classic launched back in 2019. I think I've encountered more assholes in the short amount of time I've been running dungeons on just this character alone, dude. Whatever. It is what it is. On a completely different note, do you guys see the shit that the official World of Warcraft account uh, posted on Twitter? Me and Post is gonna put that up, but dude. Ever since, uh, it's making fun of Snoop Dogg with the fact that he was all like, he's quitting weed. The one guy, <laughs> the one guy, oh my god, the voice crack. The one guy who was all like, smoking weed for years, for decades, 
Like, every, half of his music is surrounded around weed and alcohol and, like, everything in between. It's like, yep, I'm gonna quit smoking weed. <laughs> uh, and now the orcs are quitting work work. Uh, I tweeted back, I wrote, I retweeted their post asking a question if they were still gonna keep Zug Zug. Okay, I haven't heard anything, but maybe you guys will know. Is the or are the orc peons keeping Zug Zug? Or are they also ditching Zug Zug as well? Because, I mean, they already said they're getting rid of work work. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. Alrighty, let's jump into a Maradon run. There we go. Uh, you know what? Alright, let's go. We'll do that. We still got the one potion, swords are sharpened. We are all set. Okay. And everyone's from Benediction. As I was just ranting about how fuck how they can be toxic. Lovely. I'll just be a pirate for an hour. As if the healer heals. Never know. I feel like it's always a gamble. Meanwhile, this guy's just spinning. Cool trick. Alright, boys. Keep fingers crossed. Hit some boots drop. And we win the roll. We've got a, a warrior. And pretty much at this point, well, if it's played, then we're... Nah, it's all us. So, um, who's... I'm gonna put it on the warrior. That'll probably do some good stuff. Let's see, he's usually charging in anyway. seen anything drop. Which is being sad because the last run we had a bunch of stuff drop, but I mean like nothing super great, so Alright. Well unfortunately we didn't quite get anything good to drop. But not the end of the world, we can just finish this dungeon and be on our way. So it shouldn't take long at all. And just like that, he's dead. I think let's go over and collect some of this wastewater stuff. And we should be pretty close to level. We're about two bars right now. Probably by the time we're done doing this quest. These two quests actually will probably be 43. And then hopefully we can either start doing ZF or uh, Orange Side of Maradon. Nice. We just leveled from killing up some of these mobs. Uh, let's go on ahead. What do we got? We got one more. We want to go all the way down until we hit Devastate and then go in a little bit of Fury. Or do we want to go... Well, I mean, if we put 41 points... And we can get Warbringer and we can actually start using Charge. 
And then I think minimum, let's hit Warbringer and Devastate. And then we can start going down the Fury Tree. Be a little bit more offensive for a tank. I think that would be better than... I mean, we could be a super defensive Kamingo Arms. Because Arms has stuff like improved Rend and Deflection. And improved Charge. So we get more Rage from that. But I think just doing more damage just alone gets us more threat anyway. So, is this... I'm going to do 5, so we put one point in there. Okay, it does. That's not bad. Uh, I need to kill more thieves and bandits. And then we'll be done with that quest. So, let me go finish that up. Oh boy, we found ourselves a chest. Let's see if we can actually loot it. Motherfucker, there's always there's always a guy. I feel like I gotta be quick because I feel like someone's gonna turn around and just come and loot it. Oh my god, dude, why? Why is... There's so many people aggroing right now, this is insane. I just wanted the chest. And I'm missing all the time, dude, I gotta get some hit rating bad. Oh my god, okay, finally. I watch, it's just gonna be pure garbage. Gold bar. Uh, some cheese. As we know, I am the Lord of Cheese. Uh, 13. This is better. And then we also got this helm. Tyrant's helm. Is this interesting? 5 strength for agility, 16 stamp. I had. If it was like 10 strength, I would probably wear it, to be honest. Because it's got more armor and agility on it. You. Here's the rogue. Get out of here. Uh, I need to find bandits somewhere. Hmm. Might be worth put through on the auction house, honestly. We found the bandits. I only need five. Here. So there's one, then there's two more over here. Alright, let's go ahead and turn these quests in. There's 8,000. Uh, and then we can turn this in. Lovely. We get two crates of food. Food and drink. Makes sense. So. Alrighty, boys. If you did enjoy today's episode, do leave a like and comment down below on some other stuff you want me to see. As we just hit 43. We did unlock the orange side of Marodon and Zulfarak. I don't think I'm quite high enough. I think 44 would probably be a safe bet um, to tank Zulfarak, considering it scales into like the mid high end 40s ish, from what I remember. It's been a while since I've ran Zulfarak for anything at all, to be honest with you. So, probably wait on that till we hit 44, but uh, definitely. Uh, run orange side for sure. Um, if you guys have any tips and tricks or anything for Gadget Zan or any quests I should do while I'm here, do leave a comment and let me know. I haven't done much questing out here outside of like the ZF stuff like the uh, carrot on a stick and um, the Agi ring you get, right? So otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video.